Days into the new school year, Catoosa County parents are already expressing concern about the district's bus system. Students in grades K through 12 ride the bus together. News Channel 9's Alana LaFleur tells us why parents say that practice worries them. Alana. Calvin Latricia, all elementary, middle, and high schools in Catoosa County start class at 8 a.m. A parent emailed us with concerns about her 5, 8, and 10 year old safety because they ride the bus with teenagers. We took those questions to the school district for answers. For years, students in the Catoosa County School District have taken the bus together. That's regardless of age or grade level. It would be impossible for us to run double routes in the morning. Students are supposed to be separated by grade level, but that didn't happen yesterday on one bus. A parent wrote to us saying her elementary school kids were mixed in with older students. Catoosa County Schools Director of Operations Mike Shaw explains the protocol. We separate the buses by uh, girls and boys, girls on one side, boys on the other, and then by age. The younger kids are supposed to sit in the front, middle, middle school age in the, in the middle, and, and older kids, high school kids in the back. The parent who emailed us wouldn't go on camera today, but she sounded off about her concerns on her Facebook page. She writes, my children don't need to be involved in teenagers' conversations. The mother also expressed concern about a younger, smaller child getting hurt. This is the first call I've had. Concerning that. The district says they've already come up with a solution for the parent who was concerned about her kindergartner riding the bus with high school students. We're going to put a monitor on that bus for the rest of the week to make sure uh, that is followed. Although a monitor will make sure age separation is in place, overcrowding was another concern for parents. There was more boys on the bus than girls the, the second day, uh, so we did have three to a seat in one, on one occasion, one seat that I noticed, uh, but the girls, there were, they were all two to the city. Shaw tells us the majority of buses in the district are filled with students from different schools and grade levels, but the release times are staggered at the end of the day, so students don't ride together in the afternoon. Latricia. Alana, thank you. Once this first week of school is over, bus drivers will come up with assigned seating charts for their students. We're told all the buses do have cameras installed.